How y'all doing, bro? Shit. He's about to uh, burn down, trying to make a quick video right quick about something. Shit. We gonna figure out. Uh, that's what we gonna talk about right there. Portals, nigga. You see this right here? That's what they call a patchwork. Oh, oh, oh! Think about to go in. All right. What is a pattern, bro? Anything in Vietnam, colors, anything in cemetery, cemetery or cement, symmetrical, that's the word, for symmetrical design. Anything for symmetrical design. Alright, I like that. So, how do you think that relates back to portals, which is I'm about to, I'm about to key that in, bruh. How you think patterns are related to portals? Think about it, bro. You know what I mean? You go to the center, you have to go you step by step more than you have. So you have to. Shit. You remember, look at everything on TV when they hypnotize people and shit. Literally, how they hypnotize people with what? Patterns. To make them lose control of their reality so they can give it over to somebody else. Real deal. And the biggest way to actually get somebody to like you is if you act the same way or in a pattern of ways, you feel me? Meaning, okay, you gotta be predictable to in a certain extent. Some people like a certain level of comfortability more than other people. So what do patterns help you do? For a human, if he acts a certain way, it makes you more comfortable with him. But what about an image? Got like, ah! Like, for example, this right here. This is a pattern. But, it's also a portal. What we have been taught portals are is this black hole type substance that completely takes you away from this universe. And you don't know what the fuck you go after that shit. But a portal is actually... Beyond, I mean, it's actually the same dramatic effect and vision you have in your mind for it. But the key is a pad. I mean, a portal can be something like a door. You just have to say it's a door, bro, because that's all it is—a is doorway. Now, why is that important, bro? Why are doors important? So you know how you walk into a room, stop. Because if that door was never there, you could never walk into the room, nigga. Now, the key to that is this. If the walls were never there, you would never have a room. You would never have shelter and all that other shit. So walls and doors and all this shit is actually important to our lifestyle on this planet. So, do you think that only applies to you as a human? Or do you think that applies to all the beautiful, beautiful forms of life out there? If you look at a flower, for example... One of the most, one of the things we love about flowers is the patterns in flowers. And you realize that at the middle of those patterns is some, it's like a circle like shit most of the time. Like, and it has another pattern inside of that. But those patterns are so small that your subconscious is left to be, left to open a portal inside of you to figure out what that shit is. You feel me? Now, that's just one way of saying it. But, a very scientific way of saying it is simply the way you breathe, the way you hear, the way you see. These are all coming in through portals, doors, okay? Now, in order for you to see something, it has to be in a certain pattern. And why is that? Because if it was nothing but pitch black or, or nothing but background, without nothing to keep that image sharp, you wouldn't realize shit. For example, all right? This right here is a fist. But you know damn well it's a hand, nigga. It's not a fist. A hand can make a fist. Okay? With that being said, you have to see that in the same way with portals, doors, and patterns. Because 
Every day you wake up, I'm listening to this music right now. The only reason I can pick up this music is because I have portals in my body. Now, with these patterns, it makes me interested in the pattern. Now, when you're interested in the patterns, different patterns and people, person, places, or things, uh, that automatically, I mean, that is, uh, you are attracted to certain portals and certain patterns because of where it's leading you. You feel me? The door that it's trying to take, the door you're trying to get to, when you see that pattern, your brain is going to associate that with the door you're trying to get to. Now, the patterns that you are attracted to is the is the patterns that you need to get to where you're trying to go, you feel me? So if you look at, if you like looking at flowers and shit, that's because that flower is literally a portal. You can step into a, you can step into a flower land. You could be a flower for a whole rest of your life if you wanted to. Just because you see the patterns in a flower. Just because you see the patterns in a person, you can automatically know you're going to start acting like that person. Because you're conscious of those things. You feel me? Literally. All those things are portals for different they call they got this it's not a new word. They got this word called dimension. Dimension is nothing but a mathematical word. You can't put that in spirituality or science. It's a well science is math a form of math. But the key to that is there is no such thing as a dimensional perception. You feel me? Dimensional perception is all based on your physical body and your physical height and your physical ability to do all this shit. But the dimension beyond physicality, there is no dimension because it's only one angle, it's only one way, it's only one thing in reality. So, man, look, y'all got to start being aware of the people who open portals in you. Just because you could be opening up a portal that is completely to destructive to your life and where you're trying to go in the future. But you thinking it's good for you just because you like the pattern of it. Okay? Yeah, that and that in that very moment, the pattern is gonna hypnotize us, bruh. So it's like you see a girl, it's a pattern of life that she has, so she has a big butt. You feel me? You gonna look at that booty and you're gonna be like, you know that's a portal with that booty, bruh. You know she's a porter herself, but you know the porter you're trying to get into, wow, boy. But her pathology is so that when you get in there, she gonna steal your energy, nigga. And y'all gonna end up confronting, being going head on with each other and shit, not wanting to talk to each other no more. That's because you were simply enticed by the pattern of her body, the patterns of her eyes, pattern of her speech. But, literally... The physical pattern, not the spiritual pattern. The spiritual pattern is what leads the physical pattern. So, the fact that in yourself, you are opening up a portal on her too. In which, she's going to open her portal wider. And what's her portal? That pussy, nigga. So, with that being said, what's your portal? It's your brain. Your portal is your brain. Your most important portal is your brain. So let me ask you this: You ever, see, you ever realize why when people get under the influence, they start seeing shit dizzy? You start seeing when you ask, you start seeing patterns and shit that you never see. That's because your brain is under the influence of what? It's under the influence of different, the different portals. Okay, what these drugs are? are synthetic portals, synthetic patterns. It sets your brain, it shocks your brain into literally taking on the portal that you have put inside. So when you take ash or LSD portal, that chemical is literally going to be overridden in your brain and it's going to open up a whole other angle of perception into your physical body. And that's cancerous. 
Why is that cat search? Because, nigga, if you do that shit too fast, you get addicted to it. In the portal, you are stuck in that portal. Literally, you will be... Addiction is nothing but you leaving one reality and entering another and not, not knowing how to go back, okay? So it's like if you go in the bathroom, you lock the fucking bathroom from the inside, cut off the lights, and then spin around trying to find the door. You feel me? Because you literally just did... Some a real big switch up on yourself, nigga, but you don't even realize it. But I'm about to roll this blunt. I'm gonna let my brother Terry talk when he get back. Checking on some grips and shit. Enjoy this good jazz. Another thing I want to say right quick too is you can only truly be free if you completely you can only truly be quote, quote unquote free if you open your own portal and it's possible how do you open your own portal we're gonna get into that in another video nigga but I just want you to know that you ain't free until you create some shit on your own and promote that shit as if it's life or death. The beauty of patterns though, a lot of patterns we don't realize. Most of the patterns that we do realize is what we've been trained to realize. We, with that being said, every single pattern that you realize to be is most most of them are bad. You will only realize you've only been trained and orientated to recognize and pick up on bad bad patterns. But if you realize if you sit back and look at um, positive pathologies that your parents give along to generation to generation, those are actually under attack nonstop on the occult secret level. Because they've only taught you how to pick up on negative patterns in yourself. Negative pattern, patterns in others to appreciate. Tearing shit down with each other, you feel me? But they will never, ever. No, 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 nigga. You ain't gonna never see shit on TV anymore from this day forward that is genuinely 100% one intelligent, two emotional, sensibly emotional, intelligently emotional, you, you can have emotional intelligence, but you're not going to see that anywhere on, on public screen. And lastly, you will never see a group of people coming together to fight against something that is optional. Why is that? Because the pattern we've been taught is literally to destroy shit, to not judge others unless they judge us. And on top of that, You've only been trained through your visual hearing and speaking in your language to use patterns of technology, patterns of art, patterns of recognize, patterns of anything. You've only been trained to recognize these patterns in very low frequency forms. And I do mean literal frequency of sound, frequency of the heat in the air, frequency of... Uh, the voice that you get, the, the voice that you speak with, frequency of your heartbeat. These things are all influenced, and you can only recognize very poor frequencies like 808s and uh, 
different forms of music that they've been training on you. You have to realize that the TV is ran by Will, which is a pattern of different images being flickered nonstop. It used to be like that until they made up this LED. And LED is nothing but um, a quantum version of that, okay? With that being said, recognize that you need to, in order to reverse your conditioning of only being able to recognize negative patterns and stuff like that, you have to take very serious time out of your life. Literally. You have to be able to literally not crave doing shit. Just sit on your ass. Sit back and not give a fuck. Even if you're, unless you got a child or a baby or some shit and that nigga's sick or some shit like that. Do your, do your basic, do basic shit you gotta do, of course. Do your more very important. very important because when you bored the per the patterns that you usually do every day which they call your rituals those patterns start to manifest to you because you're sitting still but those urges to continue doing those patterns will still be present there so you have in a way a higher consciousness of this and once you have the consciousness of it you can get emotional reactions from your body, from your spirit, to say, I don't want to do this, or I don't want to do that, or I do like this, or I don't like this. But that being said, you need to start, you need to start doing this. You watch peaceful animals on YouTube, you watch peaceful, you hear birds, just listen to birds. Just listen to really, look, just watch bugs. And once you start doing this and you see their patterns and shit, you will recognize, you can truly recognize how destructive most of the patterns you can recognize are. You will never, you will, this, most of us find it hard to even keep up with the macro scale, cyclical, environmental happenings of our earth. Like, a lot of people don't even know there's four seasons. A lot of people don't even know that Africa is not a fucking country, it's a continent. A lot of people don't know a lot of shit. With that being said, you have to literally be able to pick up on these patterns because you have to see that the reason they call a continent a continent and country a country is because different patterns and these different associations and things that they were conscious of or realized. But once you don't have the ability to pick up on different patterns, if they can show you an image filled with a bunch of different galaxies, all you see is, is the macro image, or if all you see is the micro, and you can't go back and forth between micro and macro. Then, if, if you see a, if you see a swarm of gnats, you see a swarm of gnats flying right here. Or you gonna say, oh shit, that's a random ass. I don't know what the fuck it is. Or you gonna say that's a swarm of gnats. That's a pattern. Just like the sun, that people don't even realize the sun is going around us in a certain fucking pattern. The moon in a certain pattern. <coughs> and you can gain these abilities simply by doing what our ancestors taught us to do. Which is simply studying nature. And sitting on your ass, studying nature. Too hard for us. Pretty much. Let's see. What do y'all feel about, bro?